Hello everyone, welcome to Power Automate tutorial. Today, in this video, you will learn about how to pick an email attachment and store in your drive. Hi, this is Krupali from Knowhow Academy. Before going ahead in this video, let me tell you what you will learn from this video. First, you will learn why you should pick an email attachment and store in your storage. And second thing, you will learn how you can pick an email attachment and store in your storage using Power Automate. So without delay, let's get started. So first of all, let me tell you why you should pick an email and store in your storage. Let me explain you with the simple real life scenario. Imagine you are working as a team leader in a company. As a team leader, you are handling several projects. So as a job of team leader, what do you need to do? You need to take care of the different project tasks as well as you need to take care of the documentation of the project. So, every day you are getting an email that what task is done and also you are getting some documents related to your project. So, what you do? You every day read your mail and check out the attachment and move into your storage. But what if, if you go on a vacation for 15 days? So after 15 days, you have lots of email with the lots of attachment. So you should hire an assistant. So that person will help you to look out your email attachment and move it to your particular storage location. So does it sound irritating thing, right? But what if I will tell you that you can do that task using Power Automate and move your all email attachment at particular location. And after 15 days, when you will come from the vacation, you will get all the attachment at desired location. Yes, you can definitely do using Power Automate with the one time design task. So I hope you understand why you should do that. Now let me tell you the second thing. How you can pick an email attachment and store in your storage using Power Automate. So let me explain you practically. So first of all, you should be logging into your Power Automate account. Now here we will use our OneDrive for storing our email attachment or we can say that we will use a SharePoint site to store our email attachment. So let me tell you how you should do that. So first of all, you need to click on create. Now here you need to take automated cloud flow. Why? Because when an email arrive with an attachment at that time that flow should run. So for that, you should pick an automated cloud flow. So click on that and here give a flow name. Otherwise, you can skip that. So I am skipping. I will give name letter. Now what you need to do? You need to design one trigger that will execute flow when an email arrives. So for that, you should search for Outlook. My mail ID is in Outlook. Let's say if your mail ID is in Gmail, you can select that connector. So you should select Outlook and from the Outlook connector, which type of trigger you want to select. So I want to select that when a new email arrive at that time, you want to uh, execute that flow. So you should select trigger according to that. So double click on it. Then you should select the folder when mail come. Sometimes what happened, we have created several folders in our mailbox to differentiate the mail. But right now I'm selecting only inbox. Let's say if you uh, want to select any other uh, mailbox, you can select that. But I'm selecting my inbox. Then you need to go uh, click on advanced option. And what you need to do, you need to execute that flow if email arrive with an attachment, if email arrives without an attachment at that time, you don't want to execute that. So for that, you should select that only with attachment option to yes. At that time, this flow will execute. Sometimes what happen? 
here you can put filter in your subject let's say every day you are getting several email with attachment but you want only the attachment whose subject name is asset management project so you can write down the filter also so after that you need to take an action now what action you need to take if email arrive with an attachment you want to save that email in your one drive or you want to save that email in your sharepoint site after that you need to click on new step and select an action so i want to save that file in my one drive but in one drive i don't want to uh, save as it is but i have created uh several sites in my sharepoint so in my sharepoint i have one site and inside that site i have a document folder and in that i want to save that file so ultimately sharepoint data is there in my one drive so my data will store in one drive or you can say my email attachment will store in one drive so for that i will uh, first select sharepoint then i will select an action called create file okay so i will select that create file and here i need to uh, write the site address where i want to save that file so basically a location inside a folder or folder inside a folder or anywhere then what name you want to save and what file content you want to save but you know this action will execute only one time but what i want whenever an email come with an attachment so there is uh, there can be a possibility that within a one day you will get one mail or within a one day you will get several mail so for each and every email arrive with an attachment i want to execute that action so i need to put that action inside one loop so that i should do first so let me just delete it first and click a new step and search for apply each so apply each is an one type of loop which will execute several time okay so i want to click on apply to each now what i want i want to execute that loop for what so i want to execute loop when email arrive so i you should click that and when email arrive with an attachment so i need to select that attachment then what you need to do after attachment receive i want to save that file in my sharepoint list so that you need to select create file action so create file in sharepoint list then you should select a site address so i have already created several site in my sharepoint list so i am selecting know how site basically i have created to show you the demo kind of things and so on so that's why i made it personal then at what location you want to save your file so let me show you first location so this is my sharepoint site and i have designed a know how personal site now inside that document folder is there and inside the document general folder is there and inside that folder i have created youtube data so inside that folder i want to save my attachment so let me go to the flow and select the folder path so you need to click that and here shared document basically whenever you are making any documents so it's come under the shared document folder now inside that one folder is that general now inside the general folder i have one folder called youtube data so in that i want to save my attachment so let me select that at a uh, folder path so you can see that folder path save now what file name you want to save so i want to save a file name with the attachment file name so for that you can set the uh, attachment file name or you can set attachment name so double click that it will be there 
okay let me just do it again attachment name now what content you want to attach attach so whatever attachment came in my mail i want to save with that so here once you click on dynamic content you will see that one thing is there attachment content so it will be saved so after that let me give a flow name uh, let's say save sharepoint and then click on save so my flow saved successfully after that what i want to do i need to run it flow after that i need to run that flow and check it whether it's working proper or not so let me send an email to that email address using which i have logged in in power automate so wait for a minute so let me send an email to the mail id using which i organize power automate flow so let me write an email address for that then i want to uh, give a subject name as a test and here i want to send an attachment so let me send an attachment from my computer so i'm sending from my download folder a simple uh, png file i'm sending or let's say i want to send a document file okay so let me attach that document file okay now before sending an email let me me let me run that okay so for that i need to click on test and let me click on manually and select test so now flow execution will start just wait for a second now see my flow started its execution and let me send an email now email sent and let's check that outlook mail So here you can see that I have received an email from Krupali basically it's it's my Gmail ID and let me open that now that email ID is containing one document file now whenever I receive an attachment in this email ID I want to save it in my SharePoint folder uh so let's take it whether the flow runs successfully and data saved or not So first of all let me go to my flow now see here flow ran successfully that means whatever uh, data i received via an attachment it is saved in one drive folder or you can say sharepoint site folder so flow ran successfully let me uh, go to the sharepoint site now here i am i am in my sharepoint site now let me go to the youtube data folder and you can see that uh, i get an email of video 40 uh, that document so let me check that so here you can see that video 40 and here you can see the name of the document send email using power app or you can see that that is the name of a document you can see that so you can see that the name of a document is that and you can open that document and check it out so this way you can save your email attachment in one drive using power automate now here you can put a filter condition that let's say if i receive an email from my manager then and only then i will save data under the manager folder otherwise i want to save data in general folder so what you can do for that so before that you need to click an action let me go to the edit and here you can add an action called switch why switch because i want to uh, check whether the mail received from the uh, my manager or mail received other than manager so let me search for switch let me just write switch once you write a switch uh, re related action will open just wait for a minute so you need to search the switch and it will appear now here what you want to uh, select so based on whatever data i am uh, receiving from my previous action so from action so i need to select the from so basically when you receive an email from is a 
thing that using which you can identify from which email id you are receiving an email now let's say suppose i want to segregate my email in particular folder if i receive mail using my manager so let me write a first case that is equal to my manager name or you can say my manager email address so i have written my manager email now after that i want to execute that action so just drag that action so here it will come okay no it is not coming so let me just uh, uh, drag here in default okay so it's not coming so let me write it myself so here again i need to write apply on each then inside that i need to write an email attachment so attachments then what action i want to do i want to create file in my storage so create file or you can say create item not item i need to create file actually so let me delete that and add an action and search for sharepoint then from the sharepoint let me select the action that create file not item and then i need to mention the same uh, sharepoint site and folder path this time i will select a manager folder path okay so from the shared document again it's in general and in youtube data folder i have made one folder that is manager so whatever data comes from the manager email address it will store in the manager folder and what can be the file name so attachment name can be the file name and a uh, file content can be the attachment content and just save it now that action i don't want to execute why because after saving an email at a particular location that action should not occur so i want to uh, execute that action as a part of default action what if some other person send an email with attachment who is not my manager so i want to move that here in default okay if it is not moving just delete it and again you need to write that so let me write an action and here you can add more case let's say you want to uh, segregate your email address from your department manager from your general manager so you can add more case like that but i don't want so i'm just adding one case and for the default i'm adding action called apply to each apply to each and again i am doing the same thing which i have done in that so let me quickly design that now in this path i am giving a general path in my youtube uh, folder okay and same the rest of the things that is attachment name and then file content okay so save it and let's wait until it's saved now my flow uh, saved successfully now let's test it and check it whether the email can be segregate and saved attachment in a particular location or not so let me test it so i have received a several mail that is from uh, my employee and one of two uh, two mails from my manager uh, so one of the mail may contain uh, attachment and one of the mail may not contain attachment so let's check out the uh, sharepoint site you can see that the attachment which is coming uh, from my employee that is style.css this will store under the youtube folder so here you can see that and one attachment uh, which is coming from my manager so that student score 11.csv that file should be stored in manager folder so let's check it out so open the manager folder and you can see that that file is there in a manager folder so this way you can segregate 
the attachment saving in different location so i hope you understand how you can pick an email attachment and save in your onedrive or sharepoint site so before ending this video let me tell you what you have learned from this video in this video you have learned first why you should save an email attachment into your storage when email arrive with an attachment second thing you you learn how you can save your email attachment in your sharepoint site or onedrive using power automate so thank you for choosing know how academy if you have any question related to this video you can ask in the comment section